Hey, I was shaking homies. So today I got something a little different than I've ever done on my channel. Uh, I got my first smartwatch. I've never owned a smartwatch. I've never taken a video with a smartwatch. Like pretty much all my friends, my girlfriend, they, they all have fitness trackers or smartwatches and I don't have one. So banggood.com offered to send me this. It retails for about $100. And you know, I was like, yeah, it looks cool. I'd be more than happy to take a look at it. And yeah, so let's just open the box, see what we got, uh, run it through its paces and uh, see if it's worth the $100, because to me $100 for a smart watch like this seems like a pretty good deal. Alright guys, so a box, pretty basic, um, you know, there's the the SKU code or whatever for banggood.com, but you know, take this off and see what it says. Smart watch, pretty nice box actually, uh, which, one, which side's the top, you think this side's the top? Yeah. Alright, so it's got a nice protective bag it's in. Is it sealed? No, it's just closed up. So here's the watch itself. I guess let's just get right into that. Um, front is if you didn't know that this one's the back. <laughs> um, the band is just a rubber band but it feels, I guess it feels pretty nice. It's, I was kind of worried because this is a, you know, obviously came from China that it wouldn't be big enough. I have pretty big hands but the watch looks like no matter what size hand you have it's going to be you know, more than good enough. The holes go all the way down here. So even if you have really tiny hands, you'll be able to fit it. As well as if you have a nice, you know, some, I got a pretty big wrist um, and it's more than big enough for me. It can go even bigger. So I think it pretty much fit absolutely anybody. Uh, looks like this is just like a little, it's got a little screen protector on it. So we'll take that off. Um, here's the sensor for the heart rate and everything. But the overall build quality, I'm quite surprised. I imagine you can change these bands too. There's probably other bands you can get for it. Oh, there's the speaker. It's got a speaker here on the side. Here, focus. You know, great classic watch faceplate. I'm not sure what any of these do or how to turn it on. Oh, there we go. I accidentally turned it on. So this button turns it on, the top button. So far, pretty cool. Android. Very, very cool. Okay, so it looks like I might have to set this up. I should probably grab my cell phone too. It's, it's in the other room. But let's give this a minute. Okay, so Polska. Uh, let's see, where's English? Did I miss out? Oh, it's right there. Duh. Confirm. Okay. Wait. Oh, frick. Uh, I don't know how to convert. I gotta go get my phone and find out how much I weigh. Cause I weigh 175 pounds, but I have no idea what that is in kilograms. Um, I'm sure there's a way to change that in the settings, but it's probably not gonna be able to do that to change like the unit of measurement until like get into the app. So I'm gonna go grab my cell phone, figure out a little math and uh, figure out how much I weigh in metric and how much I, how tall I am in metric. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back on my cell phone, so I'm going to search 175 pounds to kilograms. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. So I am 79 point, we'll call it 38, 79.38 kilograms. Okay, so I'm going to go back in here. We're going to change this to, oh man, I should, it would help definitely to have a stylus here. How do I go back? Where's the, where the, where's the back button? There's got to be a back button. Is that, I don't know, is that it? Oh, there you go, in the corner, that's the backspace. Okay, so I am 79. You know, for how small these buttons are and how fat my fingers are, look at, look at my finger, it takes up like four buttons. I can still hit them pretty good, like I didn't mess up there on my first track. 79, okay, point, where's point? Ba -ba, da -da -da. Oh, where is it? You know, we're just going to call me 79 kilograms because it's easier, and I don't I can't see where the point thing is on here. Okay. And then height, so I am 5'10", so we're going to take 5'10 in centimeters, okay. I don't know what that would be. So I'll try that. 5 foot 10 in centimeters. Okay, so I am 177.8 centimeters. We'll just call it 177. Oh, so it almost had what it was too, anyways. 177. Okay, close enough. It shouldn't, shouldn't make a difference. Done. 
Okay, target walk, um, I guess that's fine. I don't really count my steps or anything, so I have no idea what even a good amount of steps is. So, okay, now I need to scan this on my phone. So this will be the app that I use uh, to control it with my phone. So uh, I think I have QR reader on here. Here we go, open. I already kind of had it ready because I knew I was going to need it. Okay, so turn this, back, turn this baby back on. So all I'm going to do is do one of these guys. Uh, I guess open. So I know it's like real hard to see my phone because it's so bright. But app download. Oh, you so this works for Android and iOS. Oh, every other smartwatch companies have offered to send me or that I've taken a look at were either only for Android or only for iOS. So it's really cool. This one works for both iOS and Android. And Android. I obviously don't use iOS, so I can only really test it for Android, but um, it's starting the download. Let's see how long is this gonna take? Where's my downloads? Oh, I already, already got it, okay. Block installations, whatever. Well, I gotta allow unknown sources. So if you have one of the newer Samsungs, you're gonna have to turn off or allow unknown sources to download. Just, it's like a safety feature that a lot of these Samsungs have, but I think I'm going to be fine. All right. Let's open her up. Okay. So far, pretty cool. Sinware application. <laughs> I like the name of that. Uh, okay. Whatever. Uh, okay. So I can put on notification access. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I don't even know which one of these I'm supposed to turn on. I'm kind of learning this as I go, guys. So, okay, whatever, good enough for me. Um, okay, remote control settings. Okay, so we can connect it with our Bluetooth. Make sure my Bluetooth is on. Yeah, Bluetooth is on. Okay, so I'm gonna try to connect this thing. See how this works. I'm gonna hit that button. Click the right button to connect your device. Searching. Uh, okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to hit something on here on the watch. I should probably read the directions, but if you guys know me, uh, I'm not the type of person that really reads directions. I highly doubt it's this Bluetooth speaker, so I'm going to keep letting it search. I don't see why it would come up as a Bluetooth speaker. It should come up as Kingware or something like that. I'm gonna go back, let me try something else. Uh, oh yeah, come on. I don't, yeah, I don't know if there's something I have to hit on this thing. Uh, okay, well while that's loading, I'm gonna take a look if there's anything else in this box. And uh, there is, because I can, I can hear it. Okay, so we're gonna lift this up. We got a box in here. And there might be directions too in here that will tell me what, what the hell to do. A little screwdriver, I guess if you need to take, what happened? If you need to take anything out. Um, if you need to make, oh, that's probably to change the, oh, if you need, ever need to change the battery, if you want to change the band, you're gonna need this screwdriver. So that, that's kind of cool. But they include that, I mean, it's not like I don't have a million screwdrivers, but it's still nice to have a new one. Uh, in this little box. Okay, we just got the charger. It just used, whoa. Look at this charger. So it's kinda cool, it's got its own unique little charger. So, looks like that's a magnet. Yeah, or something, or wrong way. Yeah, like that. So that's pretty cool, how that charges. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, we got a user manual, okay. So I need to take a look at this, but before I check out the user manual, it also comes with a screen protector. So very cool, little screen protector for it, uh, very nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit this one and see if this has anything to do with it. Oh, coming soon. Okay, hold on. Okay, so while I try to figure out how to connect it, I'm gonna go through this user manual 
And the user manual looks pretty good. It looks like the English. It's actually pretty good on here. Please power off and insert a SIM card. What? I think the SIM card is just if you want to have it set up to your cell phone, you have to get a SIM card from your wireless provider. Uh, I'm, I'm not, I don't care if I can talk on the phone with it, so I'll just use the Wi-Fi functions and the Bluetooth functions, like getting texts and all that stuff. I think you can still do, you just can't talk on the phone on it. Or, you know, stuff like that, like answer calls, unless you have the SIM card. I'm not quite sure though. Okay, detailed use and service. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and read through this, figure out how to connect it, and I'm gonna be right back and tell you guys exactly how to. And this thing also, also comes with a warranty, so. There's a little bit of a, uh, you know, a little bit of, a little, that eases your, you know, if you're worried about it, you know, you got that to follow. Well, if it don't work, I got a, I got a warranty, so it should be good. All right, well, let me read through this, figure out how to connect the thing, and I'll be right back. All right, gang, I figured it out. I just had to read the directions. The directions are just really good. Okay, so scrolling down brings, like, this notification stuff, and it says no SIM card, no Bluetooth. Okay, so you need one or the other. So you go here. Turn the Bluetooth on, turn the Wi-Fi on, and now it popped up right here. So it should be KW88. So we're gonna click on that guy. Bluetooth pairing request. Conf yeah, whatever. Confirm. Cool. So on connection. Yep, and check it out. It comes. Come on, focus, you piece of shit. Okay, so it comes on there. So we're just gonna hit pair. And boom, we're on. Check it out now. You can see my steps and everything on my phone. So very, very cool. Uh, remote control things. I don't even know what that is. Let's, let's see. Okay, so for music or from my camera. Um, homepage. Okay, me. So yeah, all sorts of cool stuff you can see through your phone. Um, I can send pictures to it and everything. Okay, but, okay, now enough of that. Let's get into this. Okay, so if I go down, I got all this stuff here. So what does that do? Oh, that's the brightness, okay. So you know, we're not gonna adjust that. I could turn it on silent or vibration at the top. Um, you know, Wi-Fi, whatever, you can turn that up. You can turn my, I'm gonna turn the GPS on, why not? Um, airplane mode, what was that one? Okay, that's to your SIM card, so I don't need to worry about that. My pedometer right there, so since, since I uh, opened it, I've taken six steps, which actually sounds pretty accurate because my room is like two steps from here when I grab my phone and I had this in my hand so I think it actually got the steps pretty accurate which is kind of surprising uh, let's see what else we got here so I go okay what if I go down okay that's the weather so I gotta set that up I don't see it's, it's updating it right now because I turned on the GPS yeah yeah whatever okay but yeah so super super cool yeah yeah whatever I don't care and then I know you can change too, like the different, um, like the main look. And we're already connected. What's this do? Open. I'm, like I said, guys, I'm kind of learning how to do this with you guys. Yeah, whatever. Oh, dismiss, whatever. Con okay, so I can bring up my contacts, my phone, my messages, my settings, remote capture. Remote capture. Oh, so I can control the camera. Look at this. I can control the camera on here. So I could like, you could use this as like a security camera. If you put your phone somewhere, you could check on there, you know, see if something's going on. See, like I got, uh, got a yo-yo and a 3D print right there. You know, really cool. You probably can't see that, but good little yo-yo. I made, made a, something I made on my 3D printer. Got the boxes. Yeah, really cool that you can do that. So this set recording, you hit that button. But we're just gonna back out. Uh, how do I back out of this? Back out. Okay. Um, I can go on the internet, calendar, a clock, obviously. You know. Oh, that's all oh, your alarm. That's the alarm clock and timer, stopwatch. Okay, so all the regular clock punch. Basically, it uses all your regular apps on your Android phone, which is just super cool. I mean, this thing is for a hundred bucks. I mean, this. I know I, I know I got it for free, but you guys gotta like. I wouldn't tell you guys. Uh, look, it came up my, I tried to send a message uh, email on my phone and it failed on my phone. So I got an alert on my watch that my email didn't go through, which is uh, 
really cool because now you know I know to go back so this is the back button when you're like in the thing I think yeah uh, okay let's go back into there where was I yeah, yeah whatever So you go to the right, or if you swipe this way, that's your notifications. You swipe down, that's all like uh, your info and like to get your connection and all that stuff. You hit up, it's the weather. I gotta set that up. I haven't set that up yet, but I'm sure that works fine. You see, it says updating still. It probably just takes a while. I mean, I just turned this on. It also said to make sure you charge it and stuff before you use it, but whatever. It seems like it came with enough charge right out of the. Right out of the box. Yes, yeah, so this one turns it on and off. And then this is actually, I've been hitting this thing as a button. That's a camera lens. Look, so it's got a little camera right on it. That is freaking awesome. Yeah. And then how did I get to the settings before? Where did I click from here? Okay, here we go. Back to the settings. Okay. So I can check out my music. My file media, my health, obviously. And yeah, really, really cool. So, so far, very impressed with this thing. For a hundred bucks, this is definitely a, a great alternative to like your Apple Watch or your Galaxy Gear. You know, much, much cheaper. And you can do pretty much everything you can do on there. You can call people, you can go on your messages. You can literally do everything you can do on your cell phone. So. So far, super, super cool. All right guys, so I've had a couple minutes to play with it. I've been playing with it the last like 15, 20 minutes off camera, trying to really get a hang of it and uh, adjust all the settings. Now that I've had some time to play with it, I would say this is an absolute steal for $100. Uh, I got the heart rate monitor. I found out how to work that and everything. Like I bought my girlfriend a Fitbit for Christmas like two years ago, and it was twice the price of this, and it couldn't do half of the things this thing can do. Um, it was, you know, it, and I know this heart rate monitor works because I have a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and it has a heart rate monitor on the phone. So I tested my heart rate on the phone and then I checked it on here and they were exactly the same. So it's obviously reading it good because I know this one is very accurate because I, I use this one all the time. And yeah, and I have one of those chest ones you wear when you're working out and my phone one is always exactly the same. So I never even use that chest one anymore. And uh, if this one is just as accurate, I just got a notification. It's working great. But yeah, just the fact that it has a heart rate monitor, it's a cool watch, it's got the pedometer, it can sync to your phone, you can take pictures, and you get notifications on it. For a hundred bucks, I mean, nowadays technology is moving so fast, I kind of felt like I was off the grid and uh, I was getting left behind by not having a smartwatch. So I'm not the type of person that wears a watch all the time, but I'm really glad I got this one now for when I do. And uh, I'm very looking forward to taking this to the gym and uh, using it as a health tracker mostly that's going to be my main thing i use this for is like health type stuff but you know sometimes i want to wear a watch too and uh this is a nice you know nice nice little watch to wear it's very comfy too the the way this uh band is the rubber it's it, it holds tight but it's not like you know i set it to where it's pretty tight where it won't move around and stuff but it's not like cutting off my circulation and there's a little bit of give to this rubber and it, i don't know i don't know how to explain it but it's just really comfortable so thank you Bangum.com for sending me this sick watch. Uh, I ne never even thought that I would ever get one of these, never. But you know, now that I have one, I'm like, Yo, how did I never have one of these things? So I think it's pretty awesome. Hope you guys like the video. Hope you guys like the watch. If you want to know more about it, there'll be links in the description for everything. And until next time, I'll see you later.